All right then gang, so we have a single component so far in our application, this one right here, app.js. This is known as the root component of the application, meaning it's the first component that gets rendered to the DOM and it sits at the very top of our application. It's the thing that this index file renders right here. Now in React applications, our components are structured in a way that makes up a component tree. Now the root component sits at the top of this tree and this is the component that is initially rendered inside our HTML file. In our case, that component is called app.js. Then if we were to make more components, we nest them inside this root one. So if we made components for a navbar, some blog details, a sidebar, etc., all of those components would be nested inside this root app component. And then if we make further components, they could be nested inside these ones as well. So this makes up our component tree. And we're going to start by just making a navbar component, which is going to sit inside our root app component at the top. All right then, so to make a new component, the first thing we need is a new file, which I'm going to make inside the source folder, and this will be called navbar.js. Now remember, a component is just a function which returns a JSX template, and then that function is exported at the bottom of the file. Now remember that package I told you to install to VS Code, which was called Simple React Snippets, this thing over here? Well, I'm going to use a snippet to create a functional component right here. So this is SFC and then tab, and it creates what's known as a stateless functional component. So all I need to do now is give this a name, which I'm going to call navbar with a capital N, and then we have our boilerplate component. Now notice this time that this is an arrow function, unlike this one. Now it doesn't matter, like I said, it can be an arrow function if you prefer, and I generally create arrow functions for my components, but either way, it doesn't matter. So inside here, we now need to return some kind of template. The first thing I'm going to do is a nav with a class of navbar, and then inside that, I'm going to do an h1, and that h1 is going to say the dojo blog, and below the h1, I will do another div with a class of links, and these are going to be the links in our navigation. So let's do an anchor tag for the first one. That's going to go to just forward slash, which will ultimately be the home page, and we'll say home for the text. I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to change the href right here to forward slash create, and this is going to be to later create a new blog. So we'll just type here new blog. Now at the minute, this is not going to work because we've not set up multiple pages or anything like that yet. But when we come to work with routing later on in the course, this will work then. Okay. But for now, we just want some content to output to the browser. So that's pretty much it. That's our template for the nav part. And we're exporting this function at the bottom. So now what we need to do is import this nav bar into this app root component and then nest it somewhere inside this template. So the first thing we need to do is import it. So I can say import the navbar and it's going to be from and then it's dot forward slash to say the current directory and then navbar. We don't need to say dot js when we're using this import. It figures that out itself. OK, so now we can nest it down here and I'm going to nest it just above the content div right here because all of the page content will ultimately go inside here but the navbar I'm going to place above that. Now to do this we just say navbar and then close this tag so it's self-closing and this name is this name right here okay. So this doesn't have to be self-closing you can do an opening and closing tag as well if you prefer but if you don't close the tag then you need it to be self-closed over here okay. So save this and it works, we can see that navbar component at the top. Let me just show you the other way, if we were to do a closing tag instead, save that and refresh, this still works. I generally go with the self-closing tag instead. Okay, so that's our second component. Now we have two, we have the app root one and the navbar, which is nested inside the root component. Now, I also want to do a component for the homepage content because I don't just want to create it all inside this root component. I want to make a separate component for the content of the homepage. So let me do that by first of all creating a new file called home.js and then inside here another stateless functional component 
press tab and I'm going to call this home. Now inside these parentheses, I'm going to return a template, a div with a class of home and I'm applying these classes so that later on we can style them in the CSS. And inside this, we'll just do an H2 that says home page and that will do for now. So again, I want to nest it now inside this component. So the first thing I need to do is import it. So import home from dot forward slash home. And then I can nest it down here inside this div. So I'm going to get rid of this H1 and instead output the home component just as a tag. And now we should see that content on the page. Awesome. So that's how we create multiple different components and then import them into other components and nest them. And if I wanted to, I could also create a further component and nest it in one of these I've just created, like the home or the navbar. And we're going to see more of that as we go forward. But next up, I want to take a look at using CSS in our project.